up, metalheads? Today I'm going to show you how to do a pinch harmonic. So a pinch harmonic is uh, used a lot in uh, in metal, and it's a pretty simple process. So you just go like this. That's a pinch harmonic. Like this squealy sound you hear a lot in metal. So basically, you hold your pick like this, and you kind of how can I do it so you can see it? You want your thumb basically like right on the end there, behind it when you pick it. So like after you pick it, um, your thumb kind of just catches the string and that's what makes it do that squealy noise. It's kind of weird how it actually happens. But... And you kind of like, when you do it, you want to kind of like scoop it like, so when you do it, you gotta go. But yeah, kind of just the main thing is just getting your thumb right behind it like that and just that's what it should sound like and then if you do it like uh, on a note like that's what it sounds like if you do it like on an open string. It just sounds kind of like a wah. And so Sometimes you might have trouble like finding it. You gotta kind of like look around for it on the strings here. It'll, it'll sound different where you pick it. Let's see, let's do it on this one. So if you don't find the harmonic right away when you're trying to do it, make sure you get your picking technique right and you just, it just takes time. You're not going to get it right away. Just go over it a lot and just remember you got to kind of look around for it down here and you know just find the sweet spots. And then I kind of just, I eventually like I just practice it and I just kind of know where they are. At least like for my guitars, like it, it might be different for every guitar. and. And hey, even if you like switch notes, it might be somewhere different down here. But I don't know. But it's not. It's not too difficult once you kind of just get the picking technique and just get it figured out. Like, like if you start getting a sound like that, then you're starting to get your picking right for that. So. It took me a while to kind of figure it out, but like once I eventually just kept practicing it, then I just eventually got it. But you don't like whenever I'd like learn songs and stuff, I would also try to just kind of like add it in in some places, and that's how I kind of got better at it. It's just kind of trying to, you know, sometimes just add it somewhere while I'm practicing a song or something, and that helps too. So I thought I'd just do a quick tutorial and show you guys that, because that is something I use a lot in my music and my playing. And it's pretty sick, so go and try and do it if you don't know already. Just definitely makes things interesting if you like have like something cool like this. Like it just kind of like you're doing a riff and then all of a sudden it's squealy, like people will be like, whoa, what the crap? That was awesome. So yeah. If you guys are curious about any of my original music, you can go to the link below and check out my Bandcamp page. Um, you can sign up for my monthly subscription for only $3 a month if you do enjoy my music. And you'll get free access to, well not free, it's a pretty simple process. 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 See you guys in the next video.